the red lady, the ghostly monk, the screaming man, the colonel, and the phantom highwayman. Tonight we are entering a village that may have more dead residents than living. A town that is so infamous for the disturbing hauntings, it now warns off any paranormal investigators from entering their property limits. Our goal is to meet all of the spirit residents, but it seems they wish to make their presence known first. It's literally a whole village that's got ghosts just everywhere. Literally every corner that you go on, there's a ghost or a ghost story or a sighting of something. No way. What? I knew it. Yo. Oh my oh, god. god. Oh, oh. If all three REM go off, there's a third one coming. Yeah. If all three go off, we are out of here. I'm not sure what it is, but it's around it and it's walking around somewhere in front of me. Right, just like that device. You want us to stop asking questions and drop it? No way. 3.13 in the morning right now. I was not expecting this. Look, 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 hurry, hurry. I see this guy. It's laying in the grave. There was a body just laying in front of the tomb. You're still lost in here. We can guide you out. Dude, I was even talking to something standing here. And I thought it was you. Welcome to the Overnight Channel. Dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at Pluckley Village, Dead Residence. Hey everyone, before we start the video, I just want to let you know that our December mystery box is currently right now available. You can go there and pick one up. Every single box that we make has brand new items and brand new designs. You will never get any of our previous old gear, anything like that. But this time around is a December Christmas giving cool thing. We are giving away to one person who orders a mystery box and you're gonna win this mural. I have obviously had it since we made it and I think in 2018 it's been in here with us. Every time we pack an order we look at it. This is literally where we do all of your orders. It's gonna be a random raffle. You don't need to enter a code. We're literally just gonna email someone and go, hey, you won. And if you want it, then we're gonna figure out how to get it to you. If that person doesn't want it, we're gonna email the next person and the next person until someone says, hey, I want the mural. Go into someone else's home and, and be cherished and, you know, it's pretty neat. Hopefully you pick up a mystery box, but if you don't, I appreciate all of your support. And of course, enjoy the rest of What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel. We are still in the middle of our UK series and we had to make a stop somewhere where paranormal investigators are not welcomed. This is Pluckley Village that we're about to be entering. Literally considered an entire haunted city with bars, churches, forests, numerous locations in the entire town and they just don't want to acknowledge that their town is haunted and they do whatever they can, including hiring security guards at all of their haunted locations to make sure no one can do any form of an investigation. Worst job ever. <laughs> Stay here where it's haunted, make sure nobody finds out it's haunted. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually a fair point. Yeah. So we're gonna try and see as much of it as we can and hope we don't run into security. You've been here before, right? Yeah, I came here and I, I booked it like 10 minutes into it. There was just people stirring nonstop. Like they'd come out of the house. They would come out of the house and they would stand there and just watch and watch every movement you make until you leave. It's a bit hostile. Oh, you you have no idea. So you voluntarily left? Yeah, yeah, I left. I, yeah, I didn't want any, anything to do with it. What do you think they were going to do to you though? Pitchforks. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What time at night did you show up? It's 7 p.m. Oh, so it's one in the morning yeah. for us right it's now. It's two yes. in the morning. So you're going to get the Almost evil switching ones. hour. It's 1.30. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I was like, is it really that late? So maybe they're all asleep by now. God, I hope so. Uh, with that being said, we're probably going to be filming this in, in night vision because this giant light is a beacon to everyone that lives in the city. Great. So, Pitch black, awesome. First stop is going to be the Screaming Woods. Perfect. What? We were given a pin that was dropped to us and we're going to meet up with our guide there who's going to help us try and navigate this as best we can. Fantastic. So night vision cameras, SLS system set up, all the ghost tools on a little satchel bag mm -hmm. and we're going to go in, do as much as we can and keep seeing as many places as we can. Yeah. Let's just hope that they're not like in their 80s or like 70s because they're going to wake up in like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> to get Get the make, early bird special at Denny's. Just have yeah. a bit of brekkie. Yeah, they're heading straight mm -hmm. to Denny's. Let's see as much of Pluckley Village as we can. Piece of biscuit. 
Let's hop in the motorhome and we got a little bit of a drive and let's do this. Can we just drive through the forest? Through the forest. You want to drive through the yeah, I don't just plow it all out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> just go through it all. Yeah, I can barely drive through the London roads, and you want me to drive through a forest? I prefer it. It'd probably be yeah, easier. I prefer to be you, yeah. you tried. Okay. A few hours east of London resides a village known as Pluckley, which was even titled the most haunted village in Britain a few decades ago. The reason for our visit tonight is not for a single town, but for the twelve known hauntings that have existed there for far more than decades. The history of this haunted city stretches backwards, nearly 1,000 years, where it was written about in a Middle English book from 1086, titled Doomsday, a fitting birthplace for all of the horror that now resides within it. With that comes a paralleled theory, that the physical location of the village itself is a sanctuary for paranormal activity due to its magnetism and geological features. If we believe that those in the spirit realm need energy and fuel to thrive the same way the living do, then Pluckley Village has plenty for them to feast upon. In fact, 12 known hauntings have been feeding from this small town for centuries. They now have street crossings and forests named after the frequency of their visits, Fright Corner and the Screaming Woods. The residents of Pluckley wish to minimize the amount of paranormal investigators that visit their small community in hopes that if it's ignored for long enough, it might go away. Our visit tonight will not be with permission from the town, but we couldn't pass the opportunity to visit this legendary place to try and find proof of the afterlife. Here are some of the known ghosts of Pluckley that we should all be keeping in mind throughout the investigation. The screaming man, smothered by a drying clay wall that fell on him. His screams are now heard coming from his final resting place, with his ghost occasionally walking the ground. Watercress Lady, a resident of Fright Corner. She made her living selling watercresses at the crossroads until she accidentally lit herself on fire with the whiskey she was drinking to then perish. The Red and the White Lady, both of the Daring family and known to haunt the St. Nicholas Church, both passing away with immense grief still in their hearts. It is said that they were buried within layers of lead coffins, then placed inside an oak coffin. This was to prevent their bodies from decomposing, and could be the reason they have been trapped within the churchyard. Tied directly to their mysterious fates is the Red Lady of Rose Court, suspected of being a mistress to the Daring family and a love triangle, until she used poisonous berries upon herself in the garden. The Highwayman, another permanent guest of the Fright Corner. He was a lifelong criminal most well known for hiding behind a tree and then jumping out to scare his victims to then rob them. This was until he was no longer able to jump from behind the tree as he was now pinned to it by a spear that was thrown into him. Stories believe this was done by a town guard or possibly other thieves looking to end his reign upon the area. He is now seen abruptly jumping into the road to this day in an attempt to scare all that pass by. Hence the name Fright Corner. This is less than half of the known ghosts. There have been frequent sightings of a horse and carriage, a phantom monk, and a ghost of a man who took his own life within the woods and is now seen aimlessly searching through them. His sightings have been so vivid that most thought he was truly just another resident of the town wandering around at night. Many others have perished in the woods over the centuries, simply getting lost while trying to cross them and never making their way out. And the Screaming Woods is where we will start tonight. There are many tales of horror that live within Pluckley Village, but this truly is a ghost town. Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Please make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations and locations every week. And if you hear or see anything during this video that we do not, please leave a comment and let us know. You guys wanna have a rap battle about if you were a ghost? If, uh, about if we were ghosts? Like, Wait, can you say like from the perspective of two ghosts having a rap battle oh, about yeah. who's the better, spookier ghost. Okay. Yeah. I turn on a scary movie. Mm -hmm. I think it's called Scream. Okay. Wait, hold up, Matt. What do I feel up in my spleen? <laughs> <laughs> what in the <laughs> 
I think I know what you're feeling. Uh. It's way up in your spleen. Yeah. Hold up, wait, let me see some ID. Let me sh make sure you're 18. <laughs> Else don't be there yet. So I'm the worst kind of ghost. I'm a mother demon. Some give you nightmares. I give you wet dreams. Evil semen. Ooh. Ooh. Even though I'm dead, I hope that you'll miss me. Mm. But if you ever see me near, I hope that you'll kiss me. Oh. <laughs> I'll haunt your house, I'll move your furniture. You know me as a poltergeist. I'm out here stealing more souls than a Vegas bank heist. God damn. God damn. I think we saw a car. If there's one, I'm gonna hide. Okay. It doesn't really matter to me. Because at the end of the night, mm. we're all about to ride. Mm. Each other. I don't need to be a ghost. In your ear and yell, boo! Ooh, what's that smell? Did you just make a boo? <laughs> <laughs> this is real spooky. We're in the town of Pluck. But no matter how the night goes, we're all going back to the hotel to have some fun. Good luck. <laughs> should probably. <laughs> Alright, all right, let's do it. Let's Not the Ghostbusters. Anyone want to read that? That's because despite some questionable websites and social media groups claiming otherwise, there are actually no ghosts in Deering Wood. Hey, how are you? How are you doing, Jim? Pleasure. Are you saying Thanks you? for meeting us out here. What's up, Andrew? Matt. Very nice. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Very English. English. I wasn't sure if you could see it. <laughs> Corey, nice to meet you. Okay. Good to see you. Yeah. Should we get further off the road, or? Yeah, it's okay for right now. It was in the Guinness Book of Records for having 12 ghosts. And it's literally a whole village that's got ghosts just everywhere. So everywhere you go, there's a ghost. Um, everywhere? Literally just everywhere, because it's a tiny place. And the churchyard's haunted by two ghosts, the, the white lady, the red lady. Two ladies. Yeah. Um, and the whole place it revolves around the Derring family. So this Screaming Woods where we are is actually called Derring Woods. And the Derring family were the landowners and the gentry dating back a long, long way of going through families. Um, the story of the, the, the white lady and the red lady was that she was the young bride of Lord Derry. Mm -hmm. and she died very, very young and she was apparently a very beautiful lady. So to preserve her beauty, she got buried in three lead coffins and then inside a wooden coffin what? to wow. preserve her beauty. Because you thought that was going to do it. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it's, uh, you know, and what happens there is late at night, there's tapping noises from her tomb. No. You know, so you can actually hear these tapping noises coming off, and she's seen quite regularly walking around the churchyard. No way. So that's one really interesting story about like the Derrian family and the Derrian ladies. The spirits that are in here and the ghosts that are in here are from kind of almost like lost souls because this was much, much bigger in the old days. Mm -hmm. And people came in here, <coughs> got lost, and never found their way out. And they just died. Um, the other, uh, really interesting story about here was there was a colonel that committed suicide in here, hung himself, and he's seen regularly marching from the 1700s. Oh, so he's seen very, very regularly here. Wow. So it's a real interesting place. Like literally every corner that you go on, there's a ghost or a ghost story or a sighting of something. Just outside here is Fright Corner, and there's a ghost of the highwayman. Well, this is actually a true story of a guy uh, Richard Du Bois, who was a, a very, very proficient highwayman, uh, I guess, you know, a, a, a robber of night time of horse and carriages. And what he used to do, he had a very predictable method of doing his robberies. He used to hide in a tree, wait for someone come along, and then hold them up at knife point to rob them. He got so good at it. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're away. Uh, so, he was so proficient at it, he can't become predictable. So, the locals ambushed him and then run a sword through him and pinned him to the tree that he used to hide in. Now the sightings of him that are seen very regularly recreate that sword battle. You can actually hear the swords going, you know, actually like a proper oh sword fight. God. And wow. that's seen just down here. So wow. that's a great story. Should we go deeper in because there's noises happening. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. go in. Yeah. Totally. How does it feel to you guys? Hmm? Eerie. Yeah, definitely yeah. eerie. Are any of you guys sensitive? Thank uh, God. Or no. more insensitive? I think Probably insensitive. More insensitive. insensitive. Yeah, Believers, yeah. but insensitive. <laughs> I think Corey is more apt to sense some things than any of us. That being bit. said, I'll turn on the SLS. Oh, yeah. We've actually. I don't know if we've used this outdoors before getting me yeah so it definitely works out here but you got to be real real close I figured I'd turn down the brightness oh cool. what is that? I heard that is that an animal or is I that... mean yes there are animals out here that would make noises like that it's a water leader oh oh, oh. what do you say man it is <laughs> Shoes, he says. That's the big <laughs> That's the big one. 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 That's the the big Wait, what? It's too big, and now one's gone. Where is it? It just did. Oh. I would have never thought to look up in the trees. You know, it's literally like in the trees. I would have never thought to look up. Because I literally just looked. Is this, um. Dude, it's going crazy. Is this forest known for just ghosts or any kind of creatures as well? Creatures. Yo, it's, really? It's creatures climbing up the tree. Is there anything inside the trees? Only for creatures, watch it. Cre what kind of creatures? Just like kind of mythical type creatures. Oh, that kind of big Yeah, cat. yeah, yeah. Spirit, yeah. more of a... Okay, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Yo. Oh my whoa, god, whoa, whoa. right in front. Oh, did you see As that? As it died. Yeah. Oh, it's pointing. Do you, do you guys cool out? Is it something in the tree? Uh, we it's do. Pointing that way. Why is it pointing? Who's here? Come forward. Can you wave to me? Can you wave hello? Come forward. Dude, it's waving. Can you come closer to us? Do you hear that? Yeah. The whistle? Yeah. So far. Came from you guys. Dude, look at this. What the hell? It's climbing the tree. No, no. Look. Did you just went straight up? Did yeah. you just see that? Dude, we're climbing the tree. Dude, it just jumped up and grabbed the plant. Did the plant break? No way. That wasn't one of us stepping. Dude, it keeps getting colder and colder. Yeah. It went from 71, now it's a 68, almost 67. Did you guys see it climbing yeah. the tree as I asked it? Look. Wait, REM pod. REM pod? Oh, No way. That's where it's gone, huh? Dude, there's it's multiple, there. there's multiple right there. Oh my god, it's freezing right here. 67. 67 now. Dude, oh, the temperature keeps dropping. Face the street towards the end 70. Dude, look at the temperature. Yeah, pot again. Rim pot again. 
So right now there's three REM pods set up around us, so we're kind of making a half circle perimeter. Dude, the screen. look at the temperature. It was at 70 when we stopped, when we stopped here. Can you climb up the tree? No, 66.9. Yeah, if it stops, it's weird, yeah. Doesn't it? Like, right now? <laughs> yeah. Yo, it's literally just waving. I never thought about that. I just said a REM pod is only for those that walk. Yo. Can you put both of your hands Dude, above your head? Six, six, six. So I can make sure that I'm looking at you? Just put both of your hands in the air. It's a 665. Six, Dude. Are we close enough to the road to hear that? We're quite a way in. What was that? I don't know. It's like a roar. Okay, they're standing on each other. What was that? Yeah, it's still dropping. I can feel the cold. Rem pod cold. again. Yeah. Dude, right? Kind of breeze. Yeah. Good place, Every time that goes off, it's still dropping. Cold. Yeah. That's what we it's felt. We felt still like a cold dropping. breeze coming, yeah. to, coming towards us. So the long red beep is a one degree temperature drop. Oh, is that what it is? Well, it's dropping 0.2 every like 10 seconds. So that means in a minute. There you go. Yo, what is that? No, look on my screen. In the middle of it. You see that? Oh, uh, yeah. The beeping like is. blue and red. Something getting close to it, and if it lights up a color, it means something's right there. Now we're standing just over there. This feeling is not here. Yeah, EMF too. Look, right there, right now. Dude, 64. Plus. It was 72. Look at that. No way. That's pretty cool. Whoa. There's a flash over there, eh? Yep. Is there yo, see that yo. flash? Did anyone it's, see the flash? It's freezing right here, is it not? What flash? Oh, oh, the other remedy. Oh, At the same time as the K2 is going on. Take it. <laughs> they set off two red. If all three rem pods go off, there's a third one out there. Really? Yeah, because right now we've had the right and the left. If all three go off, we are out of here. <laughs> oh my god. Have you not found them in the trees anymore? Maybe they're not in the trees anymore. Yeah. It's kind of almost like surrounding us, like the rim pods are going off. And that's what I feel like. It feels like we're being surrounded. Is it negative? It doesn't feel too negative, but it feels like it's sitting and waiting to see what we're going to do. Mm. What so, do you think the worst thing that happens is if it does surround us? I think it's going to interact with us. I mean, it might push or pull us or something mm -hmm. like that, or make us feel really cold. Yeah, it's definitely cold. But this is this is a hot spot. I mean, I've been here a lot of times. Over there feels completely different. As soon as you really come here, and we're only like 30 feet away. Yeah, you're right. Here, right? Then you can keep you going. What do you, what do you think it is about this area that makes it so active? I think it's on ley lines. What's um, that mean? So like uh, across like um, areas of underground water streams. Again. Oh. So it has the energy to feed off. Yeah. 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 K2, in your hands right now. We're in the middle in hand, of the yeah. forest. There's no magnets. No. There's nothing to touch these things. There's no electricity here. None. None. That's well, wild. You were climbing up this tree. Oh my god. That it just came back. back. Thank you. Again. It went from the ground to the tree. Dude. It hasn't shown in probably five minutes and I just said that. Corey, what if that's not someone climbing? Dude, right now the SLS is matching where the REM pod is. It's interesting that it went from one REM pod to the other. They haven't yeah. gone off at the same time. Yeah. As if they made a circle around the back of us. Dude, you know. they've been gone off this for five minutes, and as I said that, it came back. That was incredible. Oh. That was the sec the third REM pod. Wait, really? Yeah, that was a different noise. That one to the right? That was the coffin one. No... That was like going to be my next question. So when I feel things, I start to get a ringing in my ears. Mm -hmm. My ears are ringing. You can hear it. It's the K2. K2 and it's a 64. It's dropped it's, a, it's really around us. Because my ears are, you know like how people get te tetanus? Is it te yeah, yeah. Tinnitus. 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 Yeah. 
my ears, when things are coming close, my ears start to ring. 63.8. It's what? dropped. It's dropped nine degrees. What is it that you feel is coming? I'm, not, I'm not sure what it is. Whether it's it, it's a kind of a, a spirit person or an animal spirit, but it's around it and it's walking around. I love how there's a sign that says it's not haunted. Yeah. What you're hearing is just, yeah. just the foxes. <laughs> Who they kidding? And we've had every single device we put out, yeah. every single kind go off. Yes, Consistently. Can't hear what? Come forward. It's, it's fluctuating. Come forward. 63.6. Come closer to us. I mean, you no harm. I'm going to put a cap on right in front of us. What's the temperature? 63.3, stable. Hey, corrupt. Can we turn off the tablet for a minute? Kill the light, like, uh, there's a button on the side right, bottom right. On the side right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't it feels warmer and lighter a little bit. You set down and it blows off? Yeah. But I'm still here. All right. That's both. That's the closest they've ever gone. Okay. Off. If it does a third one, I'm gonna lose. Because I literally just said something in my head, and then they started going. Off. What do you say in your head? I was like, "Can you show me?" What did you say? Mm -hmm. I said, "Can you show me how powerful you are? Can you make all three run pods go?" Right. It's never happened. Just did too. I mean, these things are 30 feet apart each. It did. It. That's one. No, dude. It just no. I said it in my head, and it just went one, two, now three. It did it. I didn't even say it out loud. It just did what I asked, and they haven't went off in what five minutes. Yeah. As soon as I finish saying that in my head, that one goes off, and that one. Goes off. You're out here. And you're watching us. Place a really small device just like the others. Somewhere in front of me. Right, just like that device. There's another one. A few feet in front of us. And if you get close to that one instead, it'll beep. Did you bring yourself over here? Okay. Yep, there's the second one. That's great, that's the second. Now we're going back and forth now. Can you make them both go off at the same time? That hasn't happened yet, huh? No. Can we switch back to the other one? Are you moving that quickly? Oh, oh. That was on its... Right next to you. Oh, make another left. No. So you're left more back towards the trees. Can you see me on the upper left? Yeah. I'm trying to get the screens at see you. Can you reach out and grab his hand? It's right next to you. It's right next to you. Put your hand down a little bit. He's got his arms crossed. Yeah. Like it's like nervous or cold. Well, I want to see if it'll reach out to me. Put your hand, is your hand back a little bit? Oh. Go on, it's just weird. I'm not moving at all. So. Oh, it's back. Taller. Yeah, this one's like 10 feet tall. It's crawling to you. It's crawl. I've never seen this. Dude, it's literally crawling. Okay, wait, now it's going back to the tree. It's okay, you can come over here. I'd love to interact with you. You have permission. Oh, Touch. it's touching you. Bro, it's got your hand. Yeah, it's like on your hand. Can you climb on top of him? 
behind you, so it can go through. Right. It is touching you. Yeah. That's cool. It's touching my right hand? Yeah. Yeah. No. Now yeah. it stops. Whatever hand you have out, yeah. That one, right? Mm. He's gone. You can come back. Sorry, this is just new. What's that? On a tree. You said people, Andy, you said people would just get lost in here, right? Yeah. And they just they just lost it. Got lost, so lost, and they just they they just couldn't find their way out and just died. It was that expansive. Yeah. Yeah, they have to stand out too. Well, if you're still lost in here, we can guide you out. We can guide you out of the forest. What's that? You notice that since the next minute on the REM pods have gone off? Mm hmm. Can you grab his hand? You can reach out and grab my hand. Right as you mentioned the REM pods? Prove me wrong. Now huh? there's one behind you. Yeah, there's something over there. You see it? I can hear it. Like, something moving quick. Again, it's like it does it in waves. I wonder if it's like coming to like protect whoever yeah, is next to us. So we could just drop in. Yeah, it's getting colder. It is. It's getting colder. Oh, same time? Okay. We don't mean your friends any harm. That's why you're coming closer. Dude, We're here in. to help. He's in here. Yeah. Temperature's still dropping. Yo, it's getting cold as hell. Yeah. Isn't it? It's going down by the second. We're here to help. Maybe you don't want your friend to leave. Yep. Came back. Every time it comes back, the REM pods go off. And the temperature just drops again, 64.9. Oh, it just dropped, it just dropped 0.5 degrees in one jump. Are you following me or no? 24. Uh, dude, it's like... It's on you. Dude. You saw that? Yeah, it was yeah. on him, dude. It was like it just entered you. It seems like it was on your chest. REM pod again. The huge flash of light off the REM pod down there in the town. You just like ran by it just enough to give it enough of a... If you have the ability to come closer to this device, I'll show you where it is. I need to actually find it myself. You can, you can kill that light. There's now two. There's two of them. Temperature's down at 64.5. Hmm. Oh, it is. Wow. Yeah, I didn't see it. Right there. Jeez. It's behind you, Elson. As in front of me? This way? Mm, I, I think to your left, yeah. If you're still facing away from us, then yes, to your left. On the ground. Right near the REM pod. Now it's gone. So close to the REM pod then. <laughs> if you get SLS and REM pod at the same time... want the ability to communicate with us verbally through language we have a different device here that'll let you do that since we haven't given you the opportunity yet uh, we're going to turn this on and it's going to scan through all of the radio waves if you hear a word that you want to use you can project it through the device. You can come closer if you want. I know you're closer because the devices won't beep anymore.
you tell us what kind of spirit or entity you are? Picture them. What? Picture them. That's what I said. One. Could you clarify and let us know what you are? Are you a person? A spirit? Something beyond that? Something. something. Yeah, right. yeah. Strong? No, you just drop it. If you want us to stop asking questions and drop it. We're able to help. Yeah. I was offering to help. Is that the case? Shh, shh, shh. Did yeah. nobody f hear that? What the f was that? Did you I hear that? Oh, no, did, did anyone just see that flash? Yeah, that's a REM pod. Nobody that's heard that? Saw. Saw a flash of it. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah. No, dude, it wasn't the REM pod. It was up in the tree. Yeah, did none of y'all hear it? I know I heard it. It sounded like a... Like a... Yeah. Like a... Dude, but no, there is a flash. Wow. What was that? What the f was that? What, is it a flash I knew of light? I wasn't going crazy. That's not the REM pod. You, you guys just saw that, right? It nice yeah. of the whole tree. Is it the rem pod? Is that showing up on your camera? The light? Uh, no. I would switch to other vision then. It won't be... Oh, the, the LED flash, yes. Oh, it did. And if you're looking for a way out of the forest, you're welcome to follow us out of the forest. And that's it. You are not allowed to follow us home. You are not allowed to follow us home. You don't smell wet, don't you? Yeah. Smell yeah. I don't smell it. I smell wet dog. Huh. I was really about to ask to make it beef so I could find it. Thank you for helping me find it. It's like you were in my head. Dude, it's like they read our minds here. I know, it's like a second ahead of like a second ahead of you. Wait, can you guys come here? You've never done this before. What? Everyone's in there. And like right here. Where are you taking it from? I'm gonna take it from right there. Okay. Follow up. Yeah. Follow up. Yeah. Put the tree behind you. Oh me, awesome. It went up four degrees. The temperature went up four degrees. Yeah. It went down ten completely since we got here. And as we turned up all the devices. Mm -hmm. Back in a little bit. Alright. Shut up. Dude, it was like shape shifting and then it would like yeah. crawl to you, bro. He Dude, said when it, it crawled in whole creatures. Yeah, he said there was creatures. Like a mystical creature. Yeah. yeah. He said big cats, which are, which are, you know, a cryptid manifestation as well. well so yeah. They're not supposed to be dangerous, but they are supposed to be big. Oh, that's a scary ass gate. Oh, no way. There's a swing set. No way. 13 in the morning right now. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, God. 
It's 313. You see the swing side open? Yeah. Screaming gates. Screaming gates, yeah. What is that? It's a labyrinth. Labyrinth? Yeah, so it actually sits right on the ley lines. Oh wow. So it does. It's meant to pick up energy right in the middle. The labyrinth carved out to see it. The church did it. And he said there's some uh, just the ley line. Yeah, man, that's Wow, did you hear that? The, lo the locals did it. Why would they do that? Exactly. Because they believe in spirits. Yeah, there's no ghosts. Why would they do it? <laughs> wow, look at this. I was not expecting this. For a second, right where that tomb is, there was a body just laying in front of the tomb. Oh, like fuck. a stick figure. Mm -hmm. And you get a light shining in that. Oh wow. How great is this? Mm -hmm. uh, oh wow. How bright is the light that shines out the church uh, window? I mean, it, it, it's kind of like a sort of almost like a torchlight, but it's in the very top window. And you, all you see is just the torchlight lighting up. It's not yeah. like a light shining out. No, just literally just the light up. That's there. what I saw. Was it here? I thought, yeah, in the, in the church. Is there no lights in there? No. I was looking at it for like 10 seconds. I thought I saw something, but I didn't know if there was a reflection of the glowing light. What have you experienced here and in here? here? I mean, I've done various experiments and I've done Ouija board sessions in here. Oh, jeez. Um, and we have got some quite strong messages from the dear family. Like what? They spout out their name. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's pretty compelling. Mm -hmm. We used to do um, like ghost nights in the pub over there. And we used to come over here as part of the evening. Mm. But, um, that pub, the Black Horse, is absolutely epic. Right. Got a little room in the top of it called the Secret Room. Mm -hmm. um, and the highwayman um, used to practice the cult practices up in that little room. And there's a great sort of story around all of that. Got a poltergeist in there as well. Oh, wow. Wow which moves things around. We would like trying to renegotiate to go back in there to do the ghost nights and they're not really that interested in, in doing it. They just kind of said no, a couple of days later they asked us to go in there to see if we could clear the stuff. Ah. Mm. How convenient. Yeah. Mm. Did you ask what happened? What made you change your mind? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they, um, they got a Rottweiler and this Rottweiler, there's a particular spot in there where activity happens and their dog was absolutely fixed on this spot, mm. barking at it. I don't know why, I feel like there's something in the animal world that they can just, they just, they can just sense yeah. something significantly stronger than we can. Yeah. And they're also like more well, simple minded, like well, we tend to overthink. And exactly, well, if, you, if you imagine their physical senses are stronger than ours. Right. Did you just hear that? That whistle right there? It's moving near the woods now. And that's in like every horror movie, huh? That's so a dog, is it? What? Look, 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 hurry, hurry. It's laying in the grave. What the f? It's laying in the grave. And now it's gone. Now it's gone. Did you get that? Yeah. That's the third time. What'd you say? You picking up anything here? This one right here. It feels very, Dude, very tall. Dude, that is okay. weird. They're not standing, they're, they're just laying. Oh, look. It's back. It's laying in the grave. Can you stand up and walk towards me? You don't have to be scared. We mean no harm at all. There's a house right there in front. Say it quiet. That's padlocks. Look at that. What's that? 
Yo, there's a huge spider web right here. Yo, there's two. Did you see that? Is that it? Yeah. Dude, they're both laying. Oh, a light just turned on. Oh, there's sound oh, walk. And all you guys are over there. Yeah. Oh, listen. Yeah. Do you know what happened? No. I was standing. I was standing right here, yeah. and I was watching too, just laying down in my graves. I turned my right, you were like three, like three, like four feet away. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, look at this. And I go back and I keep looking at it. You don't walk over. And I'm like, dude, look at this. And you're still just standing there. So then I turned this way, and every single one of you are walking. I thought Evan was to my left, and I thought you were standing to my right. Yeah, Evan and I left no you like 15 minutes ago. No, I, dude, I swear to God, there was a whole black figure, and I thought it was you. Mm -hmm. Every what? Dude? I was talking to you. You weren't. I thought. Stand. This and I go, Elton, come here. I go back to looking at this and it's still going crazy. I turn my right again, I go, yo, Elton, look. Then I turn to my left and every single one of y'all are walking. Dude, I was literally talking to something standing there. And I thought it was you. So if but that would like, never happen on camera. Exactly. So you get to experience things that you wouldn't otherwise. I know. It's not like we don't believe you. I know you believe me, it just makes me mad no one else saw it. Had anyone else been there to see it, no one would have seen it. Mm hmm So, but I thought I was talking to you, and you were just ignoring me. And it was a ghost. Yeah. The lights just turned on over there. Yeah, security. Yeah, the security's here. Yeah, I think they probably come around the front of the flag of the church, didn't they? Uh, I think... You just like tip, like let everyone know that we're here. Hi, what happened? Hello, anyone hear that? What? I'm pretty sure we just let everyone know that we're here. Okay. Mm. Uh, we turn off the light and then two houses down to turn off the light. Push our luck. Okay. We got a long trip ahead of us. So. Yeah, where are you headed to start? Uh, in town somewhere, I don't even know. We'll sleep for a few hours and we're heading to the poltergeist house. That's where we're sleeping tomorrow. Great. Actually, in the house? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be up. That's good luck. Great to meet you guys. Thank you, yeah, thank you very much, man. It's been a pleasure. Appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, man. Forget what you did, just clean your mind with that. Did you guys turn out at all? Your picture? Yeah. Yeah, I'm blurry. Thanks for kind of. Thanks for taking my first bad photo in a long, in a very long time. <laughs> this guy. What about you? Meet me on blurrypeoplemeet.com. Yeah, uh, jacket kind of. 
Oh yeah, look at the jacket. Oh, they changed the. Uh, oh, your face looks terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I look. I look like Corey. Yeah, I look like a ghost. Yeah, right. I'm just the tiniest little thing, and the only lit up is part of the tree. That's interesting. We'll keep those. Maybe they'll develop better. 